Hello everyone. Look, I bought myself a Savoy cabbage and I'm going to have to cook this and feed it to my family later because as we all know we should be eating more fruit and more vegetables. And why should we eat in cabbage? Well, cabbage is healthy, it is quick and easy to cook and it is relatively inexpensive. Yes, yes, yes. I mean that's all very well but I suppose how much do I actually have to eat? And it's very confusing. So it could be 80 grams or 2.8 ounces, according to some people, or it could be 100 grams, half a cup, a whole cup. The amount should be the size of a tennis ball or the size of your clenched fist. Or you should think about it in terms of the size of your dinner plate and make sure that half of it is vegetables or salad. So I'm going to cook my cabbage and find out how big a portion should be. OK then, so here's the cabbage I'm going to prepare. It's about 500 grams, just over a pound. And to be honest, I think it doesn't look too bad. Now, I don't really wash my vegetables very well, but this is me giving this one a cursory wash before I put it down and cut it up. I'm using my general purpose kitchen knife here to cut my cabbage, but I might use my bread knife if it's to hand because that works just as well. And that looks, yeah, quite a nice cabbage there. Now, I just want to show you here, well, really how little effort I put into preparing my cabbage and I think this is because if you think it's a, a weekday night and you almost think you haven't got enough energy to prepare any vegetables at all I think it's important to remember you can just roughly chop up a cabbage like this and then pop it in a saucepan and it'll soon be ready. I'm sure a lot of you out there can do a lot better than this but this is a simple way with no recipe and you know no other ingredients. Now that's all the cabbage in the saucepan, it's obviously spilling out there, but don't worry because, as you know, cabbage is going to shrink down once it's cooked a bit. But I think that looks um, ready to go. Now I'm just going to add a bit of water, just enough to, I suppose, steam the cabbage. I know there are fancy steamers you can buy, but normally I just actually hold the saucepan under the tap just to get a bit of water in the bottom. I know if you fill the pan up with too much water, there people worry it takes away the nutrients, but it also makes it just so heavy I can barely lift it. So I like to put yeah, just a, an inch or so in the bottom of the pan. Right, now I've got it on the hob ready to go. And the instructions that came with the cabbage said five or six minutes. So I'm going to turn it up to boil and then turn down a bit and come back in, in five or six minutes and see what it looks like. So here I am back after five minutes and to be honest I think it's a little bit overdone. I think I could have got away with um, cooking it for a little bit less. But anyway, it still looks reasonably appetising so I think I um, can get it ready to serve now. Just draining off that excess water there and I think you agree it's a little bit overdone but probably still you know, a little bit of crunch left. But that's fine, that'll be something for the family to eat later. But now the all-important question, just how much cabbage do I have to eat? And to keep it simple for myself, I've gone for 80 grams, 2.8 ounces. And I've put my plate here, my dinner plate, on my scales, which I've zeroed. And now I'm going to find out. So I'll get my spoon ready. And here we go. So one spoon. Nope, that's not enough. Two spoons, looks like quite a lot of cabbage, still not enough. Three spoons, and that looks like it's enough. Oh, hang on, just gone down to 79 grams. Add that on, and there we are, 80 grams of cabbage. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you here, I don't normally eat this much cabbage. I think I probably serve myself three quarters of that amount, maybe two thirds. But that's okay, I think I could eat this much cabbage and I know it would be good for me. Anyway, if I push it over to the side of the plate, you could imagine adding in another vegetable there. Make yourself even healthier. Okay then, so there we have it. That's a portion of cabbage. Okay, thank you for joining me. I'm going to go off and see if I can get my family to eat that cabbage now. And I'm going to make a few more films where I'm going to try and cook green leafy vegetables as quickly and as simply as possible.